Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here, and today we're going to talk about airline. I wanted to make a quick video to answer some of the most commonly asked questions by people who are just getting started in pneumatics in regards to airline. So in this video, we're going to talk about the different types of airline, the different sizes, and look at some of the different fittings you might run into while you're trying to run airline from your compressor to your props. First, we'll discuss the different types of airline. We deal with two here, uh, and they're shown here. This top one is polyethylene airline, and this bottom one is polyurethane. They look pretty much the same, but they have a couple of key differences. Polyethylene is much more common. It's much less expensive. It's a bit more rigid than polyurethane, but it's very durable and it's inexpensive, so it's probably the most commonly used in most cases. Polyurethane is more flexible than polyethylene. It can bend a little bit easier without kinking, um, so it's good for areas where you may need to have a lot of curves in your airline or take right angles. It's also good for areas where people might actually be stepping on your airline because it's more crush resistant than polyethylene. It's also a lot more expensive than polyethylene, so it's less commonly used. So those are the two common types of airline, and here we have the three common sizes. These are all polyethylene since that is most commonly what we deal with. We carry three main sizes. Top here is our smallest quarter inch. These measurements refer to the outer diameter of the uh, airline. Second here is our middle size, 3 8 inch, and at the bottom here, our largest airline, 1 half inch. For most applications, you'll be using quarter inch, but we do suggest that if you're running multiple props, you run a main line of a larger line like this half inch from your compressor, and then branch off to go to your individual props once you get closer to their location, and we'll cover that in just a little bit. Here you can see the differences in the diameter of the airlines. Again, the measurements we're giving are for the outer diameter of the airline, so quarter inch, 3 8 inch, and one half inch. Obviously, if you need a lot more airflow, the half inch line can move a lot more air than the quarter inch line. So if you have an application that requires a lot of airflow, using a larger airline is a good idea. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about fittings. So once you have your airline and you're running it between your compressor and your props, you might find that you need to extend airline or make it take a turn or even split it. And that's where fittings come in. First one we're gonna look at here is a very simple fitting. This is just called a union. You can see it has uh, push on connectors at each end. This would be something that you could use if say you had a length of airline that was a little bit too short and you needed to extend it. Plug one end into one side and then you can plug some additional airline into the other. These again come in all different sizes for the different sizes of airline. So this is a pretty straightforward connection just if you need to lengthen your airline. All of the fittings that we're going to be looking at are push on style. You can see that they have a plastic ring here that's usually marked with the size of airline that they'll accept. This one is quarter inch. Then the actual body of the fitting. To install airline into the fitting, you simply insert it and press. It'll kind of click in. You'll know it's inserted if you pull and it won't come out. To release the airline, you simply pull back here on the plastic collar and pull the airline away. Another common fitting that you might encounter would be an elbow fitting. This is good if you need to take a right angle turn with your airline and you don't want your airline to kink or bend too much. Again, you just take uh, airline and push it into one end then it would rotate and you can put another piece of airline into the other end and you have a nice bend here. Next, we're gonna look at a couple of different splitters. This one is a common one called a Y splitter. You can see airline comes in here and then it splits to two different airlines coming out here. So let's say you had your one airline here coming from your compressor and plug it into the fitting like that, but you had two props that you wanted to go to. Well, you can plug the airline for each prop here into the other ends of the Y fitting. And that way, one airline becomes two. Another example of this type of fitting is the Union Cross. You can see here that we have air in here, and then there's actually three different ways for the air to go out. So that's uh, good if you need to have air coming in from your compressor and then split it into three different directions. Also, you've probably noticed by now that a lot of these have uh, mounting screw holes here so that you can attach them in place uh, when you're actually mounting them in your design. You can pretty much split your air as much as you want. Um, we sell a wide range of fittings. This one's a triple branch union, so air would come in here and you'd have four different outputs. We also sell manifolds, which are many more than this. So you only really need one main line coming from your compressor and then you can split that off to a variety of different props. 
So say you had a fitting like this, but you didn't want to use all of the ports. Maybe you wanted to branch your line three times and save the fourth port for uh, later on when you're going to add another prop. That's when something like this plastic plug comes in. You can actually use this plug to block up the ports in the fittings so that air will no longer flow out of this port. So now air can come in here, it'll go out of these open ports, but will be blocked here. You remove a plug just like you remove air, just depress the plastic collar and pull. We also offer fittings that actually have a flow control built into them. So if you wanted to meter your flow of air going to maybe the input of a cylinder to slow it down, you can use a fitting like this. Uh, it has a needle valve here on the top, so this main dial can uh, be loosened to allow more air or tightened to restrict the air. And then this set screw here can be dialed into the position and locked in place. That will allow air to flow through, but at a much uh, less rate or a slower rate. So as I mentioned earlier, there might be times when you need to reduce a larger main line like this half inch airline down to something smaller like this quarter inch. But there's a couple different ways to do that. One way would be to use a union reducer like this. This reducer has half inch in on one end and quarter inch on the other. So you could plug your large half inch line into one end, your smaller quarter inch line into the other, and you have converted half inch here to quarter here. Now that works if you're just going straight from your large main line to a single prop, but what if you want to branch off and continue? To do that, we would use a combination of fittings. The first one would be this half inch T. You can see here that this has three different ports, all half inch. We'll imagine now that this is our line coming from our compressor, our main line. It will go into the fitting here. Then we want our large airline to continue along out of this port here. For the open port here, we're going to install a reducer. Essentially, this is a fitting that plugs into a larger fitting and reduces the air opening here to a different tube size. This is what we would call a half inch shaft to quarter inch tube reducer. The shaft fits into the half inch fitting, press it in firmly, and adapts it now to quarter inch. So you can now take your quarter inch airline, feed it in there like normal, and there you go. You've branched your main half inch line to a smaller quarter inch line which could lead to your problem. So once you've got all your airline run, how do you adapt your compressor to the size airline you're using? Well that's when we use a fitting like this called a quick connect with push on. So you can see here this has a quick connect which will uh, insert into the barrel of your compressor and it has a push on fitting here on the end. In this case it's a quarter inch. So if you can imagine you have a connector here, you'd slide back the collar on your barrel connector, press the quick connect in and then release the collar and now you have adapted your compressor to a quarter inch airline push on fitting. We sell these in all the different sizes, quarter inch, three eighths and half inch. So you can also get a half inch one if you wanna start right out of your compressor with half inch airline. You'll likely find at some point that you need to cut your airline to a shorter length. For that, we recommend using a tube cutter. So this is a tube cutter here. Basically you just open it up, you place the airline into the cradle here at the bottom Make sure it's nice and straight and then press together and you get a nice straight cut. This is important because if you have a cut that's at an angle or frayed, it can lead to air leaks when used with those push on fittings. All right, so that's a quick look at some of the basics of how to work with pneumatic airline, answering a couple of the most common questions that we get here at Fright Props. If you have any additional questions, of course, you can leave a comment on this video or as always, send us an email at sales at Thanks.